Hey Gemini, this is your December 2019 reading. I really hope that you are doing well and we're going to have a look and see what is coming through. So um, I also want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will be down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So this one here is the Crystal Gem Healing Bracelet. If anyone is interested, there's so many bracelets on my Etsy. They're all handmade by me. They are meditated with, they're spiritually charged. They are there to remove obstacles and challenges from various parts of your life, be it love, twin flame, soulmate, career, finance, um, evil eye protection, confidence, you know, to boost different areas of your life as well. And there are reviews on these, so please check out the reviews. They're amazing. It's amazing to see how so many of you are seeing results with my bracelets. Absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, they're very affordable and also free international shipping on everything. So I hope that you are well. So let's have a look, see what is coming through for Gemini's in December 2019. Oh, so the Nine of Swords just fell into my drawer, which I keep open. So I have a drawer on the side of my table because my table is actually rounded. So cards just always end up in my drawer, especially when they land on the edges. All right. Wow. Did you get, oh, oh, okay. Did you guys see that? They just sort of like landed. That's, that's insane. We also did get some more cards here as well. All right, so let's see what is coming through. This is just the way I shuffle, all right? If you don't like how I shuffle, there are plenty of other channels out there. Um, I get a lot of comments on how I shuffle and this is how I shuffle. I also have extremely small hands as well. Just wanna mention that too. Um, not that I'm giving an excuse or anything, but everyone shuffles very, very differently. This is how I shuffle and I also find my messages come out pretty accurate with how I shuffle too, so. Just saying. All right, Gemini. Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. I'm also an upright reader as well, so just telling you, just saying. Okay, we all read differently, and this is how I read with my gift, personally. Okay. Nine of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands, Magician. Two of Cups, look at that. Empress, Four of Swords. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. The Hermit. Now when I look at this particular spread, we do need one more card, but when I look at this spread, the air energy that I, I'm i seeing, which is the sword energy is here, which would resemble quite strong to your energy is to do with taking rest, right? When you see both of these cards, it's two cards that are supposed to show rest, right? The nine of swords, you have a bed. The four of uh, swords, there's a person sort of lying down. Specifically, it looks like they're lying down on a coffin, but they're, they're lying down and they're resting, retreating, and they're not battling with themselves. However, you also have this energy of not being able to sleep, overthinking things, you know, that kind of energy. The guides want you to stop worrying. There can be a lot of worry for you. You know, it's, it's, it may feel like you're worrying a lot. You may just feel like you can't control how you're worrying about things because we also have the hermit here, which shows being in your mind a little bit too much. So if you feel like you're being in your mind a lot throughout the, you know, beginning portion of December or even the middle portion, just know that things will get better. Okay, you're not going to consistently continue to worry and worry and worry and worry. Things will get better. All right. And you see that with the Four of Swords. There is a sense of peace. There is a sense of balance. There is a sense of you feeling much better as the month progresses. Okay, so I just want to mention that. So it's it's totally healthy to overthink things. I overthink things all the time. I am a Virgo sun. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> It's in my nature to do so. And it's hard sometimes not to overthink, right? Especially when someone says, don't overthink things. It's not normal to do that, but um, it's 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 toxic when you start to let it affect uh, parts of your life, you know, if, if you can't eat, sleep, that kind of thing. 
So what I would suggest is definitely, you know, 10 minutes of meditation can help. Speaking to a counsellor or maybe even a doctor can also help you as well. Some of you are not being able to sleep properly. So that is something that's coming through. Now it will get better. And uh, it's, it is also stemming from overthinking. So sometimes just, you know, surrendering, surrendering problems, situations to the divine can really help you. All right. So what you can do is you can pray to your angels, your guides, you can pray to God if you believe in God. Um, you know, everyone believes in different things. If you believe in the universe, this is about surrendering, surrendering and leaving your problems at the feet of the divine. What will then happen is that things will progress, things will manifest, things will get stronger. You will feel better. And the eight of ones there is also about progression, you know, feeling better, feeling, you know, much, much stronger feeling good within your own energy and how you are as a person. Also the wheel of fortune, you know, that there is light at the end of the tunnel, things are going to progress, things are going to get stronger. I'm also seeing love here in December as well. And I'm also seeing the three of cups. Now, for some of you, this overthinking situation could be to do with a love triangle, or it could be to do with the fact that maybe you're feeling left out, right? Maybe you know, all you want is a, just a good time, you want to feel appreciated, but then, um, you know, it can be that friends are perhaps doing things without you, or, or you know, there's a person that you really like that is interested in someone else, or and it creates a sort of third party situation, so there is something here that is really bugging you, and it could be very much so to do with either friends, or, you know, just feeling left out in general, or a love triangle. It's not necessarily you know, um, the best thing to, to see in this reading. But what I do want to say is that you're going to be okay. You know, you are going to be okay. Now, if you're not dealing with, you know, that kind of a triangle or that kind of situation, it's a little bit tricky, essentially, because that's what I'm seeing in this reading. So this reading may not resonate with you, in which case I would highly recommend you check out your moon rising or your Venus sign readings. All right, so if you're here for your sun sign, check out your other sign readings. And if you need to figure out, you know, what your other signs are, Google will be your best friend. Okay, so you can check out, you know, you can find out what your moon sign is and all that good stuff um, just by Googling it. So the Empress here does show that you will come to really love yourself and who you are and feel so much confident and so much stronger if you're in a third party situation or you feel like you're being left out. Just know that you also do deserve better. You know, that that is something that I'm seeing here, but there is love here. So I feel like if you've been dealing with someone that has just been so on and off or has been interested in other people or even friendship wise your friends have been interested in other people but not necessarily inviting you and things like that there is someone here that comes through in a very loving manner whether it is a friend or whether it is you know an actual person romantically that gives you the time that you want gives you attention you know is able to you know include you into things so that is something that I'm seeing here as well and the Wheel of Fortune does show that there is light again at the end of the tunnel and this makes you feel also more relaxed magician shows things opening up things blooming things growing and you know the Empress is ruled by Venus so you are going to be okay you're going to feel so much better and also with this four of wands you know excitement joy happiness you know this four of wands here is 11 11 it's teaching you lessons it's teaching you that whatever path you're on in your life you're on it for a specific reason there's a reason you're on this path. Nine of Cups here does show, you know, a wish come true. It's showing things progressing as well. Last card, last card, last card. Oh, okay, so just got two cards that, three cards that fell on the side here. So we have the King of Swords, right? So that's your energy, Gemini. Look at that. Stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. Seven of Cups, it's about wishes right these wishes that you have things are progressing see five of pentacles here is about feeling left out in the cold so that totally goes with what i was seeing there and uh, this left out in the cold will not last forever because fives and tarot are about change i always say that you know this is going to change you feeling left out is going to change and you're going to feel so much stronger so much more confident whether you're male or female i read energies and tarot not the gender so i do want to make you aware of that but regardless that gemini energy is you and it's also showing here that you are going to be okay and you are going to feel like things are okay. You know, you're going to be okay, but you're also going to be stronger than ever and you're going to be manifesting a lot of these wishes and things that, you know, you want in regards to your life. All right, so that is your reading, Gemini, stronger than ever. And if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, Gemini. 
and take care. Bye.